Damage to the ocular surface caused by dry eye is considered a relatively late stage effect of the disease. The damage is typically seen in three distinct areas, the cornea, the bulbar conjunctiva and the lid margin. Fluorescein and lysamine green ophthalmic dyes are used to highlight the areas of damage. Corneal damage is best highlighted by fluorescein. A saline drop should be placed on a fluorescein strip without contact with the bottle and the excess fluorescein flicked off. The strip should be applied flat to the temporal canthal lid margin area while the patient looks up, as this will avoid damaging the cornea, conjunctiva and lid margin that will subsequently be assessed. For optimal results, fluorescein staining should be assessed approximately one to three minutes after installation. A wide, bright blue beam should be used to excite the fluorescein and a yellow bandpass filter should be placed in front of the observation system to enhance the fluorescein view. For a diagnosis of dry eye, a positive result is greater than five corneal punctate spots. Validated grading systems can be used to monitor changes in the severity of staining over time. Conjunctival damage is best highlighted with the installation of lysamine green. The dye strip is wet with saline and this should be allowed to soak into the strip for at least five seconds for the dye concentration in the fluid to increase. This time the whole drop is applied inside the temporal canthal area while the patient looks up. The conjunctiva should be viewed one to four minutes after installation of lysamine green. A positive score for diagnosis of dry eye is greater than nine conjunctival punctate spots. Again, validated grading systems can be used to monitor changes in the severity of staining over time. The lid should subsequently be averted to reveal any damage to the lid margins which will have been stained with the fluorescein and lysamine green already instilled in the eye. A positive diagnostic result is a lid wiper epitheliopathy score of greater or equal to 2 mm in length and or greater or equal to 25% of the sagittal width, excluding Mark's line. Once again, a validated grading scale can be used to monitor changes in the staining severity over time.